This conference will now be recorded. Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting as required by said act has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2020, which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board as well as the Borough website and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County and filed with the Borough Clerk on January 4th, 2020. Thank you. Roll call. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Costabone. Present. Mr. D'Alessandro. Mr. Fiola. Here. Mr. Halter. Here. Ms. Miller. Here. Mrs. Spence. Here. Mr. Melandro. Present. Mr. Merrick. Here. Mr. Brunimer. Here. And let the record reflect that Mr. D'Alessandro is excused for this evening. Uh, what do we have, Karen? The bill, the bill list? We do have a bill list this evening. Did anyone have any questions? No questions. Do you need a motion to approve the bills? Not until the next portion of the meeting. Perfect. All right, administrative updates. Uh, hey, Mark, I think you're gonna give us a quick update on this first one. Yes, uh, this is a program set out by DOT uh, for funding for pedestrian and uh, bicycle uh, improvements. What we're looking to do is 15 intersections in town to put up the flashing beacons. Those will include down at Grove and Academy, uh, some over on High Street in a couple of different locations and one over by ShopRite and then uh, over by the Republic Bank. And we probably have about nine more scattered throughout town uh, on Carpenter Street, Main Street, uh, different locations. So we're looking to get that funded. That will put in the flashing beacons you see on College Avenue and, and, and Main Street, along with uh, improved crosswalks and uh, across the road and the handicap ramps. Can, can I ask the question? Okay. Um, Mark, is are you going to put one on uh, Ellis Street and High Street where they cross? That's yes, a bad yes. intersection. Yeah, we we actually have uh, four there total, two pair, one for each crosswalk. Very good, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Mark, how much? If you already said it, I apologize. How much are we looking for in funding? Is it like 150 or? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna we the guys will be working on that next week to finalize the numbers. But uh, yeah, we're looking at a couple hundred thousand because basically okay. when you bid these out, the lights, the pair of lights cost about fifteen thousand. And, and you're doing uh, about 20 of them or, or 10 pairs. So it's 150 there plus concrete. You'll be quarter million or more, over 300. So it's a, it's a significant help if the town can get the, uh, the DOT approves the money for us. Any questions, Mark? No questions. Okay, I'll move on to the next. So the tree lighting. We had recommended the tree lighting several weeks ago about doing this. Um, and then we've gotten our recent surge and it seems like the numbers continue to go up. I have Jack and I have LaVon on the call right now. We've had a subsequent call. We don't think it's in the best interest of the borough right now to do this. I mean, there's, it's going to be very hard to control a thousand to 2000 people who we get. We've talked it through. We've talked about potentially not advertising, extending it over six to 10 o'clock not saying a tree lighting is going to be at seven so that it would spread it would spread the cow the the crowd out but everything the governor is doing now i think it would kind of be flying in the face of it and we knew there may be some conversation wanting to be had around this so we open it up for any discussion amongst council members right now you're talking just about a tree lighting ceremony that we're not the going tree to lighting have. ceremony we have every year in the town square tony it generates levon correct me if i'm wrong about two thousand people no i understand but that's all you're talking about you're not talking about anything more than that the, the we're talking tree. about not having not having that night it's it's a night in which the grinch is there santa claus arrives the stores are open there's carolers yeah. it, it's a great 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 night Unfortunately, I'm just not sure it's the right thing to do right now. Well, I for one agree, unfortunately.
Does anyone disagree with us? So we're still going to make the tree, right? And we're going to have it lit, and it's just going to be lit. And, yeah. The so tree will be lit. it just won't so be just ceremonial, be, unfortunately. Yes. You know. Yeah. That's what I meant, then. Yeah, then you know, I, that, that's what I thought. Uh, I was trying to get it. We're still having decorations, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm wondering, and I agree, um, but I'm wondering, I guess, just for discussion purposes and later on, maybe we could do it like something virtual where we get the tree lit and put it on some like a YouTube channel so that people can actually see the tree being lit. Uh, I'm just kind of spitballing here, but I agree with the gathering. Um, it probably is not in the best interest of anybody's health and welfare to, to, to try to pull this off. I like that idea, John, about virtual. That's that would be second, you know, best than nothing, nothing at all. Yeah, it's a thought. Uh, it's, you know, we yep. can talk about it, but just and we've we, we've talked about that as well, Mayor and Danielle. The problem is, if we do it virtual, we it's we can do it. We just don't want to announce necessarily when we're doing because we still think it will it will attract people. <laughs> So we got we got we got to talk through it a little bit more, but I think exactly. it's something we can do. that's yeah. I know there's all kinds of things that we have to kind of check boxes that we have to check off, but yeah, just a, a th it was a thought. Yeah, we were really looking forward to doing it when we said yes. Our cases were way down in the in the state, and uh, you know we're still doing fairly well in Glassboro over the last few days. We're up. But we still don't think it's the right thing to do. And I, I know Jack's on. And Jack, I don't know if you have any comments in regards to it. No, common sense says that the, the numbers are up, and we don't want to contribute to that. We don't want to be uh, accused of contributing to that um, and open our, ourselves up to the liability of uh, someone bringing it home and, and uh, someone in, in the family uh, getting sick and, and you know, dying. Um, you know it's unfortunate but that's what we're living in right now and we uh just have to deal with it for the time being and hopefully with the the good news about vaccines in the spring you know we'll, we'll be back to normal about that time but i'm not going to uh i'm not going to bet on it right now i'm usually I've, I've been wrong a lot recently with my predictions about this virus okay uh the next thing here i'll turn it over to you karen the uh council meeting schedule um so every year about this time we uh we go over the upcoming council meeting schedule with any conflicts that there may be the only conflict that i see in our council meeting schedule for which we will adopt at reorg for 2021 is the reorganization meeting of 2022 which actually falls on um, january 1st of that year so um so i guess i'm opening it up to governing body to to see what they would prefer doing as far as uh, a reorganization meeting uh, for 2022, which will be adopted actually uh, with the rest of the meetings for 2021. I know that sounds very confusing, but <laughs> but that's how it works. Um, so we always have the meeting on a Saturday. We can we do have to do the reorganization meeting the first week of the year. So um, I'm not sure what all of you would be interested in doing. We could perhaps push it to January 2nd, which would be a Sunday. I'm not sure if that could work. Or we could do it um, sometime during the week. Karen is too far out, right? The, the next Saturday is too far away, correct? That's correct. It would actually be in the eighth. So we have to do it the first week, which would mean, you know, day one through seven, unfortunately. We yeah, a lot of Friday, that Friday. That's yeah. uh, the seventh. That Friday is New Year's Eve, though, correct? Oh, this is true. Seven. That's New Year's Eve. But I'm Great thinking party. maybe the following Monday, because I, if I had to guess, if New Year's falls on a Saturday, um, I wonder if businesses on Monday 
would be open or would they be closed to honor the holiday on the on that day? If that's the case, Monday would be a good day, I would think. I that I guess So remains. I you know what? I think the borough will probably be closed on that Friday. Right. To honor New Year's Day. Usually we do oh, whatever back, day. So back to business on Monday, you're saying. Yes. Yes, for the borough. Right. Hmm. Hmm. That's puppy. Well, what about Friday the 6th? Is that a bad night? Closest thing <laughs> the 7th would be Friday. The st we could have it on Friday the 7th. That's within the we first could. week. Oh, that's what I we meant. The, 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 the following week. Saturday is too late, Karen. Is that what you're it's saying? The 8th. Yes, yes, Mayor. That's correct. Unless Gary disagrees with me, but I believe that that's how the statute is written. It needs to be done within the first week of the year. I think you're right, Karen. <clears throat> okay. So I would, yeah, Friday sounds probably like the most logical move. Mm -hmm. Friday the 7th. Friday the 7th. Yes, that sounds like the most logical move. So should it should there be a motion, Gary, or are we good just to kind of because we're going to make a motion for all of this to be approved later on? It would just be that's what you're approving when you vote on the, the schedule. Okay. Thank you. Um, so is everyone okay with January Friday, January seventh? Yes. I am. Yes. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, that's all the uh, administrative updates. So I have a meeting to uh, a motion to open the meeting to the public. So moved. I have a first. Do I have a second? Okay. I have a second. All in favor, state aye. 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 Against. Eyes have it. The work session portion of this meeting is now open to the public if anyone would like to address mayor and council at this time. Hearing none, I make a motion to close the open public portion of the session meeting. I have a motion to close. I have a second. I'll second it since nobody else wants to do it. Hey, I made the motion. In favor of closing this uh, state aye. 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 Against. Okay, we are, Karen, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we're good to the regular council meeting. That's correct. You're all set. Okay, you can all have about 15 minutes before we have to come back. We uh, log out then. You don't have to log out necessarily. If you just shut your mic off and shut your camera off, you should be fine.
Hi, Karen. Karen, I got Joe D taken care of. He should be signing in. He was having problems. Okay, no problem, Ed. Thanks. What's so funny, Danielle? Watson George. <laughs> You know what we didn't do, Karen? It's it's, it's and this is my fault, one hundred percent. We didn't go over the resolutions. But the Bright Group, they they, I'm sure they all looked at it ahead of time. If they had any questions, they would have asked. That's how much faith I have in them all. I didn't remind you either, so. <laughs> That's my fault. It was my meeting. It's my fault. Up until now, it's John's meeting. I recognize it, but I don't want to say nothing. I appreciate well, that's it. Fair. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. If you would have if you would have known it, you would have said it. Yeah. No, not it. me. I, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, you would have no, taken George, no, George, nobody's buying that, George. Nobody's buying it. George, you got to remind you like me. To tour? Tell you, that was good. You, you like got to remind me to tell you the story that I heard the other night. My brother told me. Involved. I, I remind me later. Call me or later or something. I got to tell you, it's hysterical. It involves you. <laughs> involves me. Oh man, that's not good. Oh, thanks, Joe. Good evening, Joe. Good to see you.
We have one minute, Mayor. Thank you, Karen. <clears throat> It's seven. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Uh, Anthony, we ready? We are. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'd like to call the regular meeting of Mayor and Council of the Borough of Glassboro for November 10th, 2020 to order. Karen, could you please read the opening statement? Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting as required by said act has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2020, which schedule was posted on the Borough Hope Bulletin Board as well as the Borough website and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County filed with the Borough Clerk on January 4th, 2020. Thank you. May we all rise to salute the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for all. For all. Thank you. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Costabone. Present. Mr. Delisandro. Here. Mr. Fiola. Here. Mr. Halter. Here. Ms. Miller. Here. Mrs. Spence. Here. Mr. Melandro. Present. Mr. Merrick. Here. Mr. Brunimer. Here. Thank you. Uh, uh, we have one uh, presentation or proclamation, our presentation tonight that um, I just would like to announce that the uh, Borough of Glassboro will once again uh, be, be supporting the 2020 Small Business Saturday, which this year will be held on November 28th, 2020. And we encourage all uh, to get out and shop local on that day and on as many days as possible. Thank you. We have no public hearings. Um, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, minutes of the regular meeting of October the 10th, 2020. Make a motion. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Councilman Halter, seconded by Councilwoman Miller. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Mayor, we, sh we have two abstentions for this evening. Uh, it should be uh, Mr. Fiola and Mr. Halter were not at that meeting. Okay. Um, then, apologies, I withdraw my motion then. What meeting was what meeting was that? Uh, it was the meeting of October 10th. Okay. I'll motion to approve the minutes. I'll second the motion. Okay, I have uh, a motion on the floor to accept the minutes by Councilwoman Spence, uh, the amended uh, motion. Um, seconded by Council President Casabone. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Yes, abstain. Okay, uh, those abstentions have been noted. Uh, that motion carries. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, Karen, do we have any communications? Yes, Mayor. I have a resignation from Jeffrey P. Catalano Esquire. He sat on the Zoning Board of Adjustment. We have a motion to approve. A uh, motion to approve. Second. Okay, I have a motion on the floor by Council President Casabone, seconded by Councilman Fiola. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? 
That motion carries. Thank you. Uh, move, move to committee reports. Uh, Council President Casabon. I have nothing at this time, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Councilman D'Alessandro. Uh, Mayor, I have nothing at this time either. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Councilman Fiola. Thank you, Mayor. Nothing from finance tonight. Thank you, sir. Uh, Councilman Halter. Nothing this evening, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Councilwoman Miller. Um, I'd just like to say that the Park and Rec staff planted some additional specimen trees at Renlin Park during uh, along the walking trails. And that's all I have. Thank you very much, Councilwoman. Uh, Councilwoman Spence. I don't have anything um, related to the mayor, but I just want to say um, thank you to all our veterans. Tomorrow's Veterans Day, and I just want to thank all those who served on this council and uh, all of those listening. Thank you very much, Council. Uh, we have no unfinished business. Uh, we have no new business that I can see. Uh, so we will move to our engineer's report. Mark? Mm -hmm. Yes, good evening. Uh, just a couple of minor items. Uh, the Holly Bush Drive phase one and two, paving is done, striping is done. There are some still some punch list items. Uh, our, our guys were just out there today surveying some of the speed humps uh, to verify that they're going to be in compliance uh, with the DOT criteria. So we'll, we'll evaluate that over the next couple of days. College Town Shopping Center, the uh, bank building is nearing completion, along with the Chipotle building beside the salad works that's going up there. Uh, two projects that are pending, they're coming shortly. Matt Blatt Auto Sales, their expansion where the old bowling alley was going to be, their phase one project, which is just going to be parking a lot for uh, their car sales, uh, will be starting in the next week or two. Uh, they're just finalizing the plans the last day or two here with our office to get that on board. And I think you have a item on the agenda for later this evening uh, for resolution for the bonding uh, for that item. And one last item, Bonesaw Brewery, also approved by the planning board is um, nearing their completion of their planning board checklist. They're going to do a building addition at the back to increase their uh, storage and production capabilities and also expand the parking lot uh, for those. That's all planning board approved. Right now they're waiting for outside agency approvals and uh, um, I understand they're gearing up to start that in the near future also. That's all I have. All right, thank you very much, Mark. Anybody have any questions for Mark? No. Thank you again, Mark. Uh, at this time, I'll turn the meeting over to our solicitor, yeah? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, we have seven resolutions on the consent agenda tonight. Uh, the first one is resolution R-256-20, <clears throat> resolution appointing municipal court judge for the borough of Spurro, relating to the unexpired term for January 1, 2020 through December 31, 2022. Um, resolution two is resolution R260-20, resolution authorizing agreement between the borough of Glassboro and the county of Gloucester for the alliance to prevent alcoholism and drug abuse in the amount of $6,300. <clears throat> uh, resolution R261-20, resolution authorizing site improvement spro fee in the amount of $31,053.15 safety and stabilization guarantee in the amount of $18,026.58 and maintenance bond in the, in the amount of $18,659.70 for Matt Blatt Mitsubishi, 410-7, lots 2.01-4 in the borough of Glassboro, and that's upon the recommendation of the borough engineer. <clears throat> Resolution R262-20, Resolution authorizing site improvement escrow fee in the amount of $23,060.83. Safety and stabilization guarantee in the amount of $15,032.18. And maintenance bond in the amount of $14,030.41 for Bonesaw Brewery expansion, Block 351, Lot 1 in the Borough of Glassboro. And that's upon the recommendation of the Borough Engineer. Resolution R263-20, resolution authorizing agreement for certain professional services adopted by the Borough of Glassboro, Sickles & Associates, Inc., 2021 NJDOT, ultimate set-aside grant program. 
in the amount of $6,150. Resolution R264-20, resolution authorizing submission of New Jersey Department of Transportation grant safe routes to school or transportation alternatives program. And that's a requirement of the application process. And the seventh resolution is resolution R265-20, resolution appointing Craig Rawls as corporal for the Glassboro Police Department, effective November 9th, 2020. Uh, those are the resolutions under our consent agenda. If council so moves for approval, it would require a roll call vote. I'll move for approval. Second. Second. I have a motion on the floor. I'm sorry, a motion on the floor by, by Council President Cosbone, seconded by Councilman Delisandro, I believe. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Cosbone. Yes. Mr. Delisandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Four. That motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we also have for introduction by title only the following two ordinances. Ordinance 20-19, ordinance authorizing execution of lease agreement between T-Mobile and the Borough of Glassboro related to a renewal extension of the cell tower antenna at Green Tree Road location. And ordinance 20-20, Refunding bond ordinance providing for the refunding of up to all of the boroughs outstanding callable one general obligation bonds series 2014A dated January 16, 2014. Two general obligation bonds series 2014B dated March 19, 2014. And three general obligation refunding bonds series 2014 dated December 30, 2014, authorizing the issuance of up to 15,800,000 of general obligation refunding bonds of the Borough of Glassboro, County of Gloucester, New Jersey, in one or more series on a tax exempt or taxable basis to finance the costs thereof, making certain determinations and covenants in connection therewith, and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. Um, and that refinancing, refinancing is for a better interest rates. Um, these are the ordinances under our consent agenda. If council so moves for introduction by title only, a roll call vote is required. Move for approval. Move. Second it. We have a motion on the floor by Councilman Fiola, seconded by Council President Casabone. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Casabone. Yes. Mr. Delisandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Mr. Halter. Aye, four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Four. That motion carries. Thank you. Uh, this time, uh, any comments from our borough administrator, Ed Melandro? Just mic on. You're muted, sir. I'm sorry. At this time, I would just like to uh, congratulate our new corporal in the police force. Uh, I think he's going to be an outstanding addition to the ranks. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll hold my comments to the end. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to open the public portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Council President Casabone, seconded by Councilman Halter. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? That motion carries. Uh, the floor is now open for anyone from the public who wishes to address mayor and council. Uh, please understand, for those of you that wish to speak, uh, please be mindful that uh, you are on a phone call, so please state your name, uh, your place of residence, and... Uh, um, if anybody's talking over anyone else, you will most certainly be heard. So please be patient. Thank you. The floor is now open.
Hello. 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 Yes, yes I guess no one has a question, and I guess that Mr. Calvin, Minister Calvin Collins, is not on. And I, I was talking. To, my name is Gwen Rowan. I was talking I was, to Mr. Calvin today, and he wanted to know when do you think you'll be putting the speed bumps out in the element section of glass fire? Uh, okay. Uh, if, uh, Federal Engineer Mark, would you be able to answer that question at this moment? Yes, yes um, we have a meeting. We actually have a, a virtual meeting next Tuesday uh, on the 17th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, notices were sent out to everyone on Martin Luther King Drive uh, to let them know and to see the sketch of the proposed handicap ramps or <laughs> speed humps, excuse me, uh, for those. Uh, what we're looking to do is get input people for or against those uh, speed hump locations so the borough can finalize the decision on which ones if we wish to proceed. Um, and then from there, we'll turn it over to the Public Works Department for their installation purposes. Okay, so will the speed will the speed bumps only be on uh, Martin Luther King, or will they be on Martin Luther King and Kentucky? Right now, we're only looking at Martin Luther King Drive, and that that would be from oh. right down to Kentucky and Higgins. Yes. Okay, I will let him know this. And there's a virtual meeting on Tuesday the seventeenth at six thirty p.m. Yes, ma'am. And would he use the same number, the same phone number to to log in? I'll defer that to Karen. I think there's a different number uh, for that. Uh, I don't know. Would it be on the website, Karen? There is a different number. Um, it was not posted on the website, but if you want it to be, I can post it on the website. I don't think we posted it because it really was meant for the the individuals who reside in the neighborhood, but we can post it. That's fine. Did okay, you want well, he Yes, uh, he would be the one to get a letter because I'm on Kentucky, but I'll let him know to be looking for a notice about the meeting on the 17th. I will let him know to look for that. He should have received it by now, Ms. Rowland. Okay, I'll be talking to him tomorrow. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you That's all. You. You're welcome. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Hi, um, my name is Diane Johnson, <clears throat> and I live at 210 West High Street. I know a while ago I had mentioned about um, putting a four-way stop at the um, in the in the um, High and Ellis, or even a light, because it'd be so many almost accidents. And I asked that question. I asked that a while ago. Have y'all have y'all talked about that lately? Uh, yes, Miss Johnson. And again, I'll defer to uh, Mr. Melandro. Would you like to address this, or Mr. Bruce? Sure, Miss Johnson. It's the week. I can't hear. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think you saw me out there the the uh, the week after the meeting, and we had. Yes, a I did. Yeah, we had a subsequent meeting with the county because for us to put a four-way stop sign we needed input from them and i'm going to be real honest with you right now we don't have a, su a suggestion the concern when we met with the county from both our end and the county's end was how far are we going to back up traffic one of the things we talked about earlier tonight in the work session to slow things down a little bit is potentially to put crosswalks there I think they, I think it was there. Is that correct, Mark? And That's there correct. were two sets, of, two sets of crosswalks, and That's hopefully correct. that'll help a little bit right now. <clears throat> okay. And I have another question. I know I've seen, I've seen uh, when I asked them about the water that comes out on the side of the, of, on the side of the building of my house, and they came out there to check it out. Had they decide where that water is coming from? Uh, I believe I did hear that they did. Um, I will get it verified, but I believe it was coming from an air conditioning unit. Um, but I will follow up with that, Miss Johnson, and make sure that I get some clarity on that. That's what my report was. Okay. 
Thank okay. you. Thank you very yes, much. Hey, no other comments. I'll make a motion to close the public portion of the meeting. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Councilman Halter, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Intentions? That motion carries. The public portion is now closed. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. Move that all duly authorized bills be paid. Second, that they all duly authorized bills be paid. That's all of them. I have a motion on the floor by Councilman Fiola, seconded by Council President Casabone to approve all duly authorized bills. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Thank you. Uh, and before I entertain a motion to close, I would just like to, uh, again, uh, reiterate what Council uh, Woman Spence had said and wish all of the veterans and all those who have served and are serving a happy Veterans Day. Thank you for everything that you have done for us and our country. Um, You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Council President. Uh, I would also like to congratulate uh, Corporal Rawls on his promotion. Uh, he's a fine officer and I uh, look forward to him doing uh, even bigger things than he's already been doing. And to again remind everybody um, as our COVID numbers go up to, comp to stay diligent with what we've been doing. Um, Glassboro has been keeping our numbers as low as possible. We've been doing a great job. I think we should continue to do so. Please be safe moving forward. And uh, that's all I have for you. And with that, I would like to entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Council President Cosbone, seconded by Councilwoman Miller. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned. Have a great evening, everyone. Our next regular scheduled meeting will be on November 24th, 2020 at uh, tentatively 7 p.m. Thank you. Everybody, everybody stay safe. You too. Good night. You too. Big pass. I'll see you signing off.